If you have questions for court, we'll take those now. When you're on a day like that, you're approaching career highs. Are you aware of your own numbers during the course of the game? Honestly, I don't even think about it. Um, I try to go out there and just play the best I can so that I can give the, the team the best chance to win. So, you know, um, numbers wise, I know that, you know, of course, I, you're aware that you're catching a lot of passes, but you don't sit there and count, oh, that's one, that's two, that's three. Oh, that was 10 yards. That was 15 yards. You, you're just not aware of it. You got other things to worry about through the course of the game. So um, I had no idea, you know, what, what number I had, what numbers I had gotten or I had reached until, you know, the very end after I had got dressed after the game, after the shower, got dressed. Was great and get on the bus. I had um, got a sheet from Mr. Brad, and I, that's when I wanted to find out about it. So I'm not aware of it during the game. Coach Brad was talking about how you try to be a, become a little bit more of a leader. How big of an emphasis was that for you coming into season and the offseason? Um, it was a it was a really big uh, really big thing for me. Uh, they challenged me. The coaching staff challenged me to become a more of a, a leader, seeing that I, I'm not a young guy anymore. Um, my second year in, in the system, I'll be a junior in the class, but I'll be a redshirt sophomore on the field. So technically, I am a, a older guy. You know, I have two years under my belt, two years and going on three years under my belt here at SMU. So I, I am, you know, a lot of young guys who look up to me as a, as a somewhat of a vet of the team. So to take, to take on that leader role is a really big thing. Um, a lot of young guys look up to me as a guy that, you know, when they need a, a spark in practice, they, look, they they know they can look at me and say, "Okay, well, Cortland's grinding, so I can grind." And, you know, I just I, I I'm more of a um, go out and do it type of leader. I'm not gonna sit there and and rah rah yell and and try to be a real vocal leader. But I'm gonna show you that I, I come to work every day, and that you know if I can come to work every day, you can come to work every day, and we're gonna grind together and we're gonna make the team the best we can um, by giving giving it our all every single day. I think that our preparation um, was was very key. You know, Coach Coach Morris uh, sat us down Sunday, and we had the truth talk, and it got real. And uh, you know, a lot of people's feelings probably got hurt, but it was something that we needed. You know, for us to put something like that on the field is unacceptable. Um, that should never happen. Uh, so you know, Coach Morris com coming out and on Sunday and and really laying it down to us, and 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 you know just. Letting us know, to, letting us know, not sugarcoating it at all. Just letting us know, keeping it real with us, and we had to, you know, respond. And that was his big, that was his big thing for us to respond and and have that mental and physical toughness and come out to practice Tuesday and Wednesday and dominate as uh, dominate every day. You know, we couldn't slack off like we did the Memphis week. You know, Memphis week we had a practice Tuesday and then it. We, we kind of had to cut one short on Wednesday because of, of other things going on. But, you know, we, we, we feel like we didn't prepare as well as we should have the Memphis week. So coming into the East, ECU week, we knew that we had to prepare to, a, to the same to our standard, which is best. And we knew that if we didn't prepare to that, then, the, you know, the outcome wouldn't have been as, as good as it was on Saturday. So we came into it this week, you know, um, ready to prepare our best and to do um, everything we possibly could to, so that we can be successful. So I think that the, the events of um, the Memphis week uh, led to our R, which is our response, um, the ECU week. And you know we're just making sure that our, our response is always better than um, our event. You know, whatever event it is, you know, we just make sure our response is, is bigger than it so that we can be successful in everything we do. It's just preparing daily with a purpose and making sure that you know we don't make sure that we don't take steps back. You know, coach always, coach was saying that you know a lot of people were saying that we had a, a, a setback against Memphis, but it was it was all it was was a, a step back. And you know, just making sure that we don't take those steps back. Make sure that we you know, like I said, prepare daily with a purpose. You know, prepare as as for our, to our standard, which is best every single day, and not taking any days off. Um, not not having that that sense of entitlement as we've arrived, you know. Coach always makes sure he's honest about not listening to the outside noise and and not getting um, you know uh, complacent with oh we've won two in a row or we've won this amount of games. You know it's better than last year. You know making sure that we don't get complacent upon um, the the minor success that we've had and and make sure we stay focused to the process so that we can achieve our um, end goal. 
which is, you know, wherever, wherever that winds up being, you know, just make sure we st stick to our process and stick to our, our culture and our standards so that we can be successful every single day. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing just to, you know, have, know that that's in sight. But we know that if we don't take care of these next two games, or at least one of them, that, you know, that, that bowl contention is, is out the window. So we're, we're focused on making sure that we take care of South Florida first and uh, knock that out the way in order to be able to talk about a bowl game. You know, if we don't beat South Florida or if we don't beat Navy, then there is no bowl. So we, we have to make sure that we take care of, you know, what's, what's in front of us first. You know, the 30 foot, like Coach says, our, our, our flashlight can only shine 30 foot. And if we don't take care of the, you know, the, the task ahead of us and try to look at the overall picture, then we're going to, you know, be hurt. And we're going to be off season being hurt, saying we were that close to achieving a, a goal that we have set for ourselves. So we have to make sure that we keep our, our, um, our goals in like keep our goals in sight for what we already like what we want you know the 30 foot the 30 foot ahead of us and taking care of the tasks ahead so south florida is our big is our opponent right now that that's our 30 foot and we just make sure we stay focused on that coach morris described the conversation he had with coach craddock about ben hicks and said he looked different in practice <laughs> leading up to the east carolina game than he did the week before what are the biggest differences you see in ben either from the week before or even since he took over as the starting quarterback at the beginning of the year. He's his confidence. I mean, any, everyone knows that you can't you can't play if you don't have a, if you don't have a, a confidence in yourself. Then you can't you can't compete at any level. So I think his confidence is has grown each week. Each week his confidence is getting stronger. Getting stronger. Him having faith in the offensive line that they're going to block for him. Him having faith that whenever he throws the ball to any of our receivers that we're going to catch him. We're going to make plays. You know, for him to have that confidence. Um, and belief and faith that you know we're gonna we're gonna take care of our our part so that we can take the load off of him so that he he doesn't have to feel like he has to do it all himself you know um, I think his confidence is is just the biggest thing he comes to practice every day ready to work and he knows that if he comes to work then everyone around him is gonna feed off his energy and we're gonna come to work right along with him so um, I think that his it, you know it it might have I don't I really don't say I want to say that it wavered. Uh, the Memphis week, but you know I, the energy wasn't what it's supposed to be. The Memphis week, we didn't practice to our standard, we didn't prepare to our standard. Um, that's why things things had to change uh, the next week leading up to ECU, so that our preparation could be to our standard, so that we could be successful. And you know Ben kept a, kept made sure that we practiced to our standard. He, he doesn't let us slack. And if he sees people walking around with low energy, he's going to make sure he addresses it. And that's something that you see out of a, a veteran or a senior quarterback. And he's showing it as a redshirt freshman. So that's really good to see out of him. You up against Jordan Ryan, or Horace Richardson in practice every week. What have you seen those guys do better this year compared to last year? Just overall in the course of the season. Um, I, I, I remember answering a question similar to that um, in fall camp. And my answer is, is, is still the same. You know, when you get to, when you get to compete against the best in practice, it's only going to make you better. So for our receiver core to get to go against one of the best defensive back cores in the nation, you know, it's only making us better. And for the DBs to get to go against one of the best receiving cores in the nation, you know, that's only making them better. And we've seen the results. You know, our receivers are putting up big numbers. Our DBs are putting up really big numbers. So for, in order for us to, you know, be successful, we have to make sure that we're competing against each other every day in practice and, and pushing each other every single day so that we can all be successful as a team and not just, you know, one or two people being successful. You know, we push each other every single day um, during one-on-ones, during seven-on-seven. Uh, anytime we get to go against the, the defense, you know, the receivers will make sure we push the DBs and the DBs will make sure they push us. And, and you can see the change. You can see the, the, result, the results are right there. Like anyone can look them up and see the results. And it, it all stems back to how we prepare every single day in practice. Anything else for Portland? Are you missing basketball practice? No, I got to focus on South Florida. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you all. Thanks.